Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I decided to do this glittery, colorful cut crease using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and the Urban Decay Electric palette. It's pretty bold, but not that difficult to achieve. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this look, then keep on watching. So I'm starting with the shade Georgia from the Sweet Peach palette and just buffing this into the crease to act as a transition shade for our cut crease. Next I'm going in with an angled brush and the shade Delectable and I'm just using this to map out the shape of my cut crease. I did actually do a tutorial on how to do a basic cut crease already on my channel so I'll just link that down below in the description box. And then just blending that out with the blending brush we used before to apply the transition shade. And I just like to go back in with the angled brush and darken it up a bit once more just to add a little more dimension. And you can repeat this step as many times as you'd like. Next I'm going in with these two pink shades from the Sweet Peach palette and smudging that onto the area of our cut crease just to make it a little brighter and more colorful. And then I'm taking this shade Urban from the Electric palette and with an angled brush I'm just defining the cut crease a little more. And then blending all that out with a fluffy brush. And just because I love this color so much, I went in with the color Jilted, I think is how you say it, and just blended a little bit of that into the cut crease, just to make it a little more purple. And I just went back in with the Delectable color from Sweet Peach and darken that line a little more. And now we're gonna clean it up and use some concealer just to carve out the cut crease. And I'm just using my NYX concealer to do this and just dragging it down and outwards to really carve that out. And going in with my angle brush again, just very lightly to help define the line because sometimes it can get a little lost when we clean it up with concealer. And just blending that in a little too. And I wanted to deepen the outer portion a little more than the inner portion of the cut crease. So I was trying to focus more of the delectable color on this little outer area, if that makes sense. And the shape of the cut crease was getting a little crazy, so I tried to correct that with some concealer. And it was just not on my side today. Next I'm going in with this liquid glitter from Stila in the shade Diamond Dust. It's a really pretty silver and kind of like holographic almost glitter and the camera didn't pick up on it as well as I hoped but it is pretty pigmented and I'm just applying that all over my eyelid and underneath the cut crease area. Mm -hmm. 
and just fanning my eyes, trying to get that to set. And going in with Delectable again, just to deepen the cut crease ever so slightly. And sorry this shot's out of focus, but I wanted some colorful liner as well, so using this purple liquid lipstick, I'm just taking it into the inner portion of my eye, and then using the lighter pink shade on the outer portion, and mixing them in the center where they meet to create an ombre effect. And then I just created a wing with the pink shade as well, and then I set the liquid lipsticks with the purple shade from the Sweet Peach palette and then a very light pink shade from the Sweet Peach palette as well. And then I'm just using some concealer to clean up the edge of that whole thing. <laughs> and I felt like it needed a tiny bit of darkness on the outer corner there, so I'm using that delectable shade and just kind of darkening the underneath portion of the pink liner and working it into the lower lash line. Next I just highlighted my inner corner with just peachy and then applied some false lashes and a little shadow on my lower lash line and that completed the look. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.